Hey everybody, welcome to your YouTube channel. I'm just trying to do something in a good way. Um, I had a video a while back, um, and I was playing around. I was just using my imagination, and I had, you know, put some Max Headroom music behind my fish and stuff, and just sat here and played with them. I used my imagination. And, you know, well, that plant's still here, one of them. But there was such a mold and fungus in my tanks that I had to get rid of the rocks. And this plant that was over here, I miss that dude, man. I mean, it was just a plant, but, you know, it died from the mold and stuff. And, yes, it's true, the nanoparticulates and whatnot and the hybridization and the reasoning behind what they were trying to do. Um, but I think that whatever you call Big Papa, I don't care what you believe in if you don't believe in anything. I believe somehow homeboy ain't stupid. I think he said, yeah, 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 that's enough, period. Y'all done done this shit and we done run it this way, so we got to send in some help. We got to have some superheroes. You've been being primed for this event, I think. I don't know. Fuck, I'm stupid, man. I'm just making all this shit up. But I think that there have been certain events that have had to occur in order for something to happen, when the, the condition of the heart got to such a low level, you see, the all that is, that which created everything and created everything that created everything, uh, said that's enough. And he had within his divine wisdom, its divine wisdom, this very plan, you see. Except there was a change. Mr. Rockefeller and all you guys, or whoever, I don't know the players, I don't care. Um, and so what we're seeing in the skies and stuff uh, is a part of that. And yes, it's real. I, <laughs> but don't panic. Don't worry. I mean, if you, if, if you don't believe in nothing, then you ain't got nothing to worry about, right? Wrong. <laughs> but, you know, you'll figure that out. Um, what you're seeing in the sky could be a condition of your heart. Period. If you don't see anything, well, you ain't got no heart. Period. If you're seeing bad stuff, you're starting to see what's in your heart up in the sky. And then if you see stuff that kind of is like freaky and then but every now and then you'll see something that looks playful, well, you're trudging that road to happy destiny. I believe it's that simple. I mean, I'm just stupid, though. But, you know, hey, man, I'm a retarded 47-year-old man. I can't hardly walk. Uh, I wear a onesie, and I put paint on my face and act like I'm a superhero. <laughs> it's just in my mind. But you know what? I'm trying. And, you know, it's Sunday, and, you know, there's a big issue about churches and stuff. And I've got, you know, one truth, one truth. This place is full of churches, period. Jesus, there's more churches than there are bars. Huh. Damn, man. You go and you put that dollar bill right there in that plate. Sorry about that, homeboy. My bad. You see, and you put that dollar bill or $500 bill, and they ask for more. The whole procession is a play on your emotive forces. Yeah, there's something in there, all right. Uh, but um, what good is all your prayer done for the world, people? What good? Y'all done a whole hell of a lot to this world, haven't you? Y'all collected that. Y'all passed that plate around. Sure have. Two or three times a, a meeting sometimes. Y'all passed that shit around. And, uh, you know, the thing about that is, uh, obviously what you're doing don't work. How long y'all been doing that shit? Uh, period. I'm not trying to be offensive. I am telling you the truth, though. How do I know? Because I've been around a whole bunch of liars, sheeps, and thieves for all my life. You know why they hung your Jesus cross on the cross between those two thieves and murderers? You know, there's a whole section of homeboy's life you know nothing about. Period. Huh? You ever wondered why? Well, because that's when the homeboy was down in the trenches hanging out with the homeless and running them up. He was doing all that shit he wasn't supposed to do. See? That's where your Jesus was. And then when he came back with his, the Catholic Church or whatever, uh, the same people that brought you this, 
they just killed him. And to taunt in front of you and everybody else, you know, they hung that up there. That's the secret to that deal, period. Disprove it. Goddamn, you can't prove it. Try to disprove it. I bet you can't. You can't argue with the voice of reason. I mean, I ain't that. I'm stupid. But instead of sitting there and putting that money for this homeless convention or the goddamn missionaries, mercenaries to go over there and murder people's opportunities and enable them not to get their knees skint, you're doing the devil's work in and of itself. You say that you're helping somebody, but you're not allowing them to dig their own gold, you see. That's why the whole thing was placed there in the first place. I'm not trying to be offensive. I'm not. But that's the truth. I'll tell you, you want, you want to help somebody. You want to act like you know what it's like with your pretty purse and your nice sports car homeboy. Sitting there singing praises to him. <laughs> Shit. Check this out. Him ain't who you think him is. You'll figure all that out pretty soon, I think. Uh, you know, I'm just spreading truth. I don't stand against you, man. You know, the power that you have in your single assembly, if it's used in the right way, you can change the world. But as it stands right now, you ain't doing nothing but making yourself feel good. You still all stuck. It's all the big deal about the little lie. You need to make it. Uh, you need to invert that. Uh, you don't need to. I'm sorry. I, I, I would suggest that you, you, you investigate things that you don't understand. You know, contempt prior to investigation will forever keep you stupid. Um, and that's the bad kind of stupid. If you really want to help those people, don't just go and give them a dollar and say, oh, I did this and tell 10 people about it. Or go serve at the mission and be the worst son of a bitch in there or son of a bitch yet. And that, oh, I got stories. Ask Yam Hill Gospel Mission about Dale Green. Huh. That's all you got to do. Ask Department of Corrections about Dale Green and Turning Point in that program. See, I done, I done walked it. I, I done done the walking homes. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk it a little bit. You can't disprove it because, hell, it's all there. They recorded it for me. They can tell my story better than I can as far as facts go. It's an experience. If you want to help those homeless people, and I'm starting there with Christianity and the homeless people because those are two of the biggest problems that we have in the world today. Okay? Really, period. End of discussion. You go run amok. Set your next day off. Okay? You go run amok. Leave your money at home. Period. Because it's going to come to where you ain't going to have no money. I'm just kind of like giving you a training course right here. Because it's going away, I think. Why shouldn't it? Hell, it's the root of all evil, man. Get rid of that shit. First and foremost, get rid of that. And then you run a, you, one day, just one day, 24 hours. And then don't go to sleep before you go to your job that next day. You go to that job. And then you come home that night. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Go to your job before you don't even go home. You run amok. You do what they do. Shit, get high, get drunk, party, do stupid shit. You might start learning how to earn your keys to that heaven you've been talking about that you ain't going to go to probably. Not all of you, man. It's all about the heart, period. Where's your heart at, man? You look down your nose at those people, and they're more solid and hard than you ever will be. I mean, try it if you ain't chicken. If you believe in your God, won't it take care of you in that 24-hour period? One day. One day. One Try it. Please. I had to. Shit, I'm stupid too. Thank you.